For this session, I wanted to go over working with accounting periods and fiscal years. Business Central requires uh, accounting periods to be set up to run some of its functions. That includes closing income statements, running financial reports uh, with date filters. So the actual filters in these financial reports use these accounting periods, and so they'll need to be set up in Business Central. And so if, if they're not, you may run into some issues in your financial reporting. And so you can look at your accounting periods You'll see here that we have the initial date, um, the name, which is defaulted as the month, um, the fiscal year, which um, is a checkbox that'll specify whether this is the beginning of a new fiscal year. You can choose um, how you want this set up. Um, it can be um, coincidental with a the calendar year, but um, you can see here in our test system, we have the fiscal year starting and ending um, on December. So you can choose this how you want. We can have the periods closed and then the date lock prevents you from switching the starting date um, for that period. So if you want to create uh, a new year here, you can click new to manually do it, or you can also click process and create year. And so if you do that, you'll have the option to specify the starting date, the number of periods, and then the period length. So 1M would be for one month. If for whatever reason you need to be less than uh, a month or uh, more than a month, you can specify the days and the period length or quarter. Uh, it, for this, I'll just go ahead and specify one month. And if I click OK, you can see that um, for 2023, it has created all of the um, the months here, the 12 months starting um, from 12-1, ending in 12-1, 2023. Um, and then that is the start of the new fiscal year at the end of 2023. And so now that this is created, this will allow anything posted between these dates um, to be recognized in your reporting filters. So if I go to financial reporting, These financial reports use uh, row definitions, which will be which accounts um, you want um, put in into the report, as well as column definitions, which are um, some of the date filters that you can add on into the report. And these column filters will use your accounting period set up. And so if your accounting periods are not set up, then you you know you won't have the correct data displayed for your column definitions. So if I check the column definition screen, we can see here we have one column definition um, that uses um, the formula for each quarter. Um, so if you use a formula for this date filter, it'll look at what's in your accounting periods uh, and, and base it off of that. And so if that's not set up correctly, then your financial reporting um, may use incorrect data for the date filter.